Well, the Cayman Isles Football Association is set to start up a beach soccer summer league. To help pave the way, they are holding a beach soccer clinic for coaches and referees. In the studio now to give us all the details, sitting right next to me is the CIFA Project Coordinator, Alistair uh, K. Good morning and welcome. Sitting next to him is, of course, the CIFA Beach Soccer Committee uh, member, uh, Ariel Tatum. Good morning and welcome. Good morning. Now, when I think about beach soccer, guys, I think, oh my gosh, a lot harder. But then again, a lot of fun because it's a lot harder because you're in the sun and then you're in the sand, but a lot of fun because you can jump in the ocean afterwards. Um, but what uh, made CIFA decide to host and have beach soccer? Well, over the last few years, beach soccer has just exploded around the world uh, in South America and across Europe. Uh, beach soccer worldwide, uh, who were the, really the founding fathers of the movement, they set up um, a couple of international tournaments. From there, it grew FIFA ticket on, and FIFA have been leading the way over the last five years with the Beach Soccer World Cups. Um, and they're really pushing it and have seen the potential for it, especially in the Caribbean. And so CIFA has partnered with FIFA to try to train coaches, train referees, and set up our own summer program. Uh, we're going to be hosting leagues for senior men, senior women, under 17 boys, and under 17 girls starting this summer. Okay. Now, where... I know we're surrounded by ocean and beach, but where is this going to be held at? Uh, well, the clinic this Sunday and the leagues are going to be held at Royal Palms. Oh, okay. Up on Seven Mile Beach. All right, yeah, there's a lot of space there to do a beach soccer. Okay, so let's get into exactly how it's all going to take place and how people can get involved. I know that there's a coach uh, clinic as well as referee clinic, and that's the first step, right? Yeah, we want to equip the coaches as well as um, identify any possible referees to add to the um, Kim Allen's Referee Association. and better equip them to take part in the sport, uh, fully develop the players who they're taking control of on a day-to-day -day basis so that we can get the best product at the end of the day out of our players as well as the football community. All right. So when are the training for coaches and referees going to start? 10 o'clock at Royal Palms this coming Sunday. This coming Sunday. Is it a one-day one uh, event or does it continue? Uh, we will wing it after the clinic takes place to determine to what level we need to revisit some concepts if we do mm -hmm. or we just move forward and basically go around and mentor the other coaches when they're dealing with their teams. Right. Now I know that you are a great footballer so what side are you going to be on? I know you're sitting on the committee side right now but are you thinking about uh, dabbling into the coaching or are you going to actually uh, play some uh, beach uh, football when, when, when the time comes? Right now I'm trying to take on the administrative hat. Um, it probably will result at the same time in me actually coaching as well as playing because of my love for the sport. But it is a, a, a fast, a dynamic sport, and it's fun-filled. All right. Now, you, you, you said earlier, uh, Alistair, that you're really trying to target the youth to, to really come out and get involved. I mean, there's a lot of other uh, football cr programs throughout the year. There's a lot of clubs out there. But during the summer, it's tends to just stop because everybody's on vacation, it's summer. So this is a, a great way to keep the kids still going throughout the summer playing football. Yeah, we, we think that um, beach soccer has a lot of family appeal and our goal really is to have all the leagues running on the Sundays and just have a full day of beach soccer. You can just come down to Royal Palms with your family. They've got great food, great drinks there. They've got the ocean, they've got the sun and just play some beach soccer as well. And it um, really has the potential especially to to impact the youth and our goal really is that uh, we start it small over this summer but long term plans with Cayman Islands um, we're, we're known across the world for having beautiful beaches and we want to be able to develop their national teams and end mm -hmm. up hosting international tournaments in the near future. Okay, and I do like the fact that you're inviting, uh, you know, you're opening up to the entire family where it's, it's not a daycare, don't just drop your kids off and leave, yeah. but participate and play with them um, and, and teach them a thing of two, or, or two, uh, playing soccer. Okay, so for the coach, is it different for playing, when you're playing beat soccer than field soccer? Just curious, is there much difference or is it just the there's, sand? There's a greater technical demand okay. um, playing beach soccer because you have to have uh, considerable control of the ball given mm. the element of the sand and in, so it, it, yeah, it has a greater technical demand at the end of the day okay. and that's one of the things we're going to try and develop in the younger players okay. and you'll see the actual transition between the development of beach soccer and regular football because they're, like I said their technique develops and in certain aspects of the game, you'll see the game improving. Yeah. 
Well, I mean, just running up and down in the sand, it builds the strength in your legs at the same time, yeah. too. So you have to really have more power when you're on the sand, running up and down and trying to kick the ball. Who is going to be facilitating the clinics for the coaches and the referees? Uh, the, primarily the CIFA or the Kim Allen's Beach Soccer Association. And we're working and partnering with Kim Allen's Referee Association and as well as the member clubs of CIFA okay. to garner the, um, better equip our coaches and referees with information that we receive from FIFA and just basically um, interact with them and try to get the best out of the session as we can. All right, sounds, like, sounds really good. Once again, let's just remind everybody uh, when the clinics are taking place, uh, it's this coming uh, Sunday, uh, give all the details where they have to meet and do they have to register beforehand? Uh, you can register beforehand. If you want to get in touch with CIFA, uh, you can reach us on 949-5775 or CIFA at Kandawaki. Uh, the clinic is this coming Sunday, 10 o'clock at Royal Palms. Anybody is invited to come along. It's a free event. Uh, just get a taste of beach soccer for the coaching or the refereeing side. And then the leagues coming up this summer, again, are open to anybody that wants to come along and try it out. All right. And we will probably have you guys on again a little closer to the summer to get uh, the, the youngsters uh, uh, as well as their families registered for the, for the beach soccer. Appreciate you guys coming in. Thanks. Thank you for having us.